Yo, what's going on dudes? HK Titan here with a brand new video for you guys and in today's video We are going to be testing out another new paragon as well as taking on the elite phase boss Of course at the beginning of round three We can go ahead and afford to buy our Benjamin here in just a second. There we go We'll go ahead and place him right here all right, we have three banana farms on round 16. The balloons are starting to give us a little bit of a hard time, so let's go ahead and buy ourselves an engineer. Then we'll go ahead and upgrade this engineer up to pin. Now we'll go back to buying a couple more banana farms. All right, round 22, let's go ahead and upgrade our engineer monkey a little bit more. Now let's start buying our marketplaces. Round 27, let's buy ourselves an alchemist. We'll place this alchemist right here. And then let's go ahead and upgrade it all the way up to lead to gold with some larger potions that so will swap its targeting over to targeting strong. Now let's finish upgrading all of our banana farms up to marketplaces. All right, we have uh, five marketplaces upgraded. Let's go ahead and come over here to our engineer monkey. And then we'll go ahead and save up to buy balloon trap. There's our balloon trap. Now we'll set this balloon trap over here. That way we can make a little bit of extra cash. Also, we're going to want a little bit of a defense in the very back here for camo balloons. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a double shot ninja monkey to go ahead and take care of any camo balloons that are going to come our way. Now we're going to want to grab ourselves one more banana farm. And with this banana farm, we'll go ahead and upgrade it all the way up to marketplace so with the valuable bananas. And now we're just going to sit back and collect all of our money all the way up until round 40. All right, so round 40, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a sniper monkey. We'll place a sniper monkey right here. And then we'll go ahead and start upgrading it all the way up to elite defender. We'll go ahead and pop our Cypher Monkey over to Targeting Strong because our Engineer as well as our Ninja Monkey should be able to deal with all the other balloons. There we go. There's our Elite Defender. Now let's go ahead and reforge our Elite Defender to give it a little bit more popping power. And then we'll come over here and we'll upgrade our Ninja Monkey up to Balloon Jitsu. And then we'll also grab ourselves a Alchemist to throw on this Balloon Jitsu as well. There we go. Now the only thing we need to do is we need to wait for our Elite Defender to pop the phase. But in order to help out our Elite Defender a little bit, let's also grab ourselves a Jungle Drums. And we might as well grab ourselves another Alchemist to go ahead and buff up the elite defender like uh, so now that we've done all that let's go ahead and start buying ourselves some more banana farms all right once we hit ten thousand dollars let's go ahead and sell two of our banana farms to go ahead and upgrade to a banana research facility and currently we are in the last tier of the boss and unfortunately this boss made it really far which is super unfortunate but at the same time oh well because we have officially dealt with the tier one boss so now let's go ahead and sell all of this so we'll leave the balloon jitsu and the engineer and all the other fun stuff and now the next thing i need to do i need to buy myself another engineer monkey and with this engineer monkey we'll go ahead and upgrade it to overclock and then we'll start overclocking our banana research facility okay, so around 57 we went ahead and stopped our farming and now the next thing we need to do is we need to buy ourselves a darling gunner so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a darling gunner here oh uh, i also grab myself a double discount village that way we can go ahead and get a little bit of a cheaper price on our darling gunner now the next thing we'll do is we'll sell both of these uh, villages because now the only thing we need to do is we need to save up for the mad so currently we have six banana research facilities with a overclock as well as one marketplace and i'm saving this marketplace because we'll be upgrading this marketplace all the way up to a tier five next thing we're gonna do let's go ahead and sell this banana research facility in order to buy our mad because i'm a little bit worried about the phase like making it a little bit further than we would actually like it to now, I just want to grab myself a recursive cluster. That way we can deal with round 63. I don't think we should struggle with round 63, but I just want to be a little bit on the safe side. And the only thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be saving up the money in order to buy the banana central. So I don't want to buy any other banana farms right now. Now, because I am using the Reforge mod, the banana central is going to cost me $120,000. So that's another reason why I kind of want to save up a little bit of extra cash. So I am a little bit worried here. Let's go ahead and buy ourselves a uh, Crossbow Master. We'll upgrade this one all the way up to very quick shots. That way we have a little bit more of a defense at the very back because now the balloons are like teleporting in at the very back of the map. But there we go. We have officially dealt with the tier two phase boss. Let's go ahead and sell this. I accidentally sold my crossbow master, but that's fine. Uh, now let's rebuy our crossbow master. Then we'll sell everything else in order to buy our banana central. And now that we have our banana central, let's go ahead and sell everything that is not our crossbow master. And let's go ahead and get back to uh, buying more BRFs. Right, so round 74, we'll go ahead and stop our farming to uh, buy our other dart monkeys. Because, of course, for Tier 3, we're going to attempt to go for the Apex Plasma Master. All right, so there's our Plasma Monkey Fan Club. And here's another Crossbow Master. And the last one we need is, of course, going to be the Ultra Juggernaut. Now we're going to need $287,000 in order to get the Apex Plasma Master. Now, if you guys are wondering why the Apex Plasma Master only costs $287,000, that's because I went ahead and I reinforced my Dart Monkey down to a Shameful Dart Monkey. That way, I get negative 12% cost. So that's going to mean, or that means my Apex Plasma 
Master Master is going to be 12% cheaper. Okay, so round 80, we are extremely close to being able to afford the Apex Plaster Master. So let's just hold out for a little bit longer. And then as soon as we get our Apex, we'll be setting good. There we go. There's our Apex. Now that we have our Apex, we should be able to easily finish off the Tier 3 Phase Boss. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and buy ourselves the Ultra Boost here in just a second. And now that we have our Ultra Boost, let's also buy ourselves the Tier 5 Bottom Pathway Monkey Wall Street. And as you guys can see, yeah, the face, the face box just doesn't stand a chance, especially when we, when we have a Paragon on the screen. And there's our Tier 5 Monkey Wall Street. So now that, I that we have our Monkey Wall Street, let's go ahead and buy ourselves some more banana farms. And of course, we'll be upgrading the rest of our banana farms all the way up to BRF. And that, of course, is going to be the Tier 3 down. Now let's go ahead and start working towards the Tier 4. All right, so here we are up against the Tier 4. And for the Tier 4, I ended up grabbing myself the Glaive Dominus, Paragon Degree 24. And of course, we also have the Apex Plasma Master, so we should be able to deal with the Tier 4 relatively easily, because of course, two Paragons is always better than one. Now, as far as the Paragon that we're going to be going for, for our new Paragon for this one, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going for the Fiery Doom, and the Fiery Doom is going to cost us $1.2 million. So we could buy it right now, but I want to go ahead and wait until round 119, that way I can go ahead and spread out a bunch of attack shooters to give us a little bit of a higher degree. Now, I know we have two Paragons on the screen, but whenever I see like reinforced DDT balloons with the Apex Plasma Master, I always get a little bit worried. So in order to relieve a little bit of that worry, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some Mad. And hopefully the Mad can help us out with dealing with those reinforced DDT balloons because again, the Apex Plasma Master is really bad at deal dealing with them. But there we go, that is the tier four down. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to wait until round 119 in order to sell all of our farms and of course, buy the Fiery Doom. Now, once we get the Fiery Doom, I don't know what other paragon we're going to go for but we'll probably end up going with one of the other modded paragons that we've already reviewed probably going to go with the sniper monkey again because i mean the sniper monkey is just really good because it has global range but anyways dudes, i'm going to go and fast forward to round 119 i'll see you guys here in just a second all right so here we are at the end of round 119 let's go ahead and get rid of all of our banana farms to see how much money we have so we ended up with 3.5 million dollars so, so now the next thing i need to do is i need to buy a bunch of tax shooters to go ahead and buy our fiery doom now i wasn't really sure where i should place the fiery doom because i'm not sure how big its range is like i hope the range isn't like super small because that would be a little bit unfortunate all right so i bought a bunch of ring of fires so let's go ahead and see what our fiery doom is going to end up being and paragon degree 33 so we'll take the paragon degree 33 oh wow okay so i wasn't expecting it to have global range but we'll take it all right so now that we have the fiery doom of the next uh, paragon i'm gonna go ahead and go for uh let's go ahead and go for another one of the weaker ones all right so i ended up buying a two more paragons i ended up going with the apache commander because someone told me that the apache commander was glitched because it's supposed to spawn in a bunch of smaller helicopters and that didn't happen for us so we'll go ahead and play it again to see if that happens if not it might be a little bit outdated but there's nothing else that we can really do so another tower that i ended up going for is i ended up going for the sniper monkey upgrade to paragon degree 28 so with this many paragons i think we should have an easy time against the tier 5 phase but again i've been wrong in the past all right so it looks like the apache commander isn't spawning in anything else but we're not looking at that what we're looking at is of course we're looking at the fiery doom and this is just like super obnoxious because like the fiery doom is just going to be continually shooting non-stop the entire time but i will say this the fiery doom isn't that strong like it currently has around almost 700 well i just hit 700,000 pops but if we look at our other paragons i guarantee our other paragons are doing way better yeah so i'm gonna have to chalk up the fiery doom as not being super overpowered it just has the global range that makes sure that like fills your screen with nothing but a bunch of spam so as far as rating this paragon i would probably have to say that this pick oh wait what's happening now all of a sudden it just wants to like pop off hardcore huh like what happened to make it like instantly shoot up from a million pops all the way up to like eight million pops like is it the closer the boss is to the paragon the more damage it does i mean it's looking like it because at once the boss balloon gets like right next to the fiery doom it just seems to like instantly pop off yeah now that the boss is further away from the paragon now it's doing less and less damage well i mean i guess it's kind of the same thing with the uh, normal paragon right i right, so i will say this i am not liking this at all because the boss is about to leave and we haven't done enough damage yet 
Oh my goodness. Like we have five paragons. How are five paragons not able to take out the boss? All right, we need to enact emergency order to go ahead and pop all of our paragons up to degree 100 because I really don't want to lose here now that we're this close. All right, so now we have all of these paragons. I think, nope, we ended up losing. Wow, dude, these paragons suck. Okay, let's go ahead and retry from round 120. Or actually, let's retry from last round. I don't know where the boss was, but that's 1,200 monkey money down the drain. Oh, wow. We don't have a lot of monkey money at all. I forgot I'm on my alt account. Oh, let's go ahead and retry from round 120. Oh, right. So I went ahead and I rebought all of our paragons. But this time, let's go ahead and set our fiery doom up to paragon degree 100. And also, I'm going to set my apex plasma master to degree 100 as well. Because I'm a little worried that even though we have the fiery doom set to paragon degree 100, it's still not going to be enough. And of course, if it ends up not being enough, I'll go ahead and switch over my elite Moab Crippler to Paragon Degree 100. If like the boss balloon like makes it all the way over here. But I think this should be enough, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's see if the pops are going up any faster. Honestly, it does seem like the pops are going up a little bit faster this time. Not by much, but it does seem like it's a little bit faster. So I'm not sure like how much stronger the Paragon Degree 100 Fiery Doom is compared to the Degree 30 but so far it seems like the pop count again like i was saying is going out much faster so we'll know here in a second because the fiery doom ended up popping up from i believe like 1 million pops up to 8 million pops as soon as, soon as it got, got close oh yeah okay oh okay so yeah the paragon degree 100 fiery doom is way different than the paragon degree 33 so we pretty much just need to wait for the paragon to get or the boss balloon to get like right next to the fiery doom and there we go I think we got it in the bag now. I, I know we had to upgrade two of our Paragons up to Paragon degree 100, but there was no way that we were gonna do it with just these Paragons we have here. So now I see like another little dude popping in. So do I need to activate the ability in order to spawn in more of Apaches? I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so that's something that I want to test out in a future uh, video. It's to recheck out the Apache commander because maybe it's something to do with the ability. And that's how we can spawn in more of the little Comanches. But anyways, dudes, that's going to do it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys hit that like button. And I'll see you dudes in the next one.